This instrument is called a handpan. It's a dome of hammered metal that produces an ethereal, relaxing sound when you strike it with your hands. Now, a lot of people may have never seen one before. That's because it's a fairly recent instrument. It was developed around 2007 by a company called Pantheon Steel. But the handpan, which is sometimes referred to as the hangpan, has been steadily growing popularity since 2007. And now there's like 400 companies that make them across the world. The handpan is considered to be a variant of the steel drum. And the steel drum you might have heard or seen before. <laughs> Now I've been interested in getting my hands on a handpan ever since I did that collab with Daniel in Saudi Arabia. Daniel's a great handpan player. He was performing there. Uh, we did an impromptu collab together and then I got to play his handpan a little bit. And then recently a company called Cosmos Handpan just reached out to me and said, we'll send you a handpan for free. And here it is. This handpan came with a stand and these little tiny drumsticks. But on YouTube, I saw a lot of people, they just sit it on their lap like this and they play with their hands. Now, the first thing I noticed when I played Daniel's handpan in Saudi Arabia was it felt very beginner friendly. As long as you can strike it in an okay way, you can get a tone. It's so beginner friendly that in fact, when I was in Saudi Arabia and the event was still going on around, I just sat down with Daniel's handpan and started playing, you know, trying it out. And I got a crowd of people. <laughs> My first time ever touching the instrument and suddenly there was a crowd of people watching me. And so I, I played some rhythms on it and then finished and I got applause. So I mustn't have been that bad on my first try. But now that I have a handpan on my own, I looked up some videos on YouTube about how to play it and whoa, there are so many like one hour 777 hertz relaxing video handpan, 1127 hertz one hour relaxing handpan videos. And they're all got good views, so people love this stuff. I guess it's really good for meditation. It's quite relaxing. Now I'm gonna sit down and try and play this and try and learn some stuff on it. But I am originally a drummer, so that's gonna heavily influence the way I play and kind of what level I am at when I first start playing. So before that, I'm gonna get my brother, my older brother who's not a drummer, to play the handpan for the first time. So maybe it'll give you an idea of what you can do if you're a complete music beginner. So playing the handpan, I soon noticed that we have the high notes at the top and the low notes at the bottom and then this deeper note. This kind of gong sounding like note in the middle and the high to low notes uh, alternate going around. So Great. So because they're all in the same scale, it's very hard to play a wrong note. If you're playing just in succession, any combination is kind of fine. The, the only problem is when you try and play notes next to each other. Like that, you know. But generally, starting at the top note, I noticed is if you just jump one, you can kind of get a decent sound. I don't know about that. But. As long as the notes are kind of far enough. You can kind of just tap them and see which ones would sound good together. And if you're like me, um, I'm not very good at pitch. I'm not very good at hearing pitch or like even singing or anything, which is probably why I play the drums. Um, but this is kind of still friendly to people that aren't good at pitch because you can just kind of hear if it sounds good. 
or if it does, it sounds a bit, a bit bleh, it's kind of easy to pick up and just experiment. Now, online I saw a lot of people, they use these individual bits between the notes, this area here that's not a note, as percussion. So they can just kind of tap away and fill in the space with that. Anything like that, which is, is cool, especially because I'm a drummer, that percussive side of it is great. When you play here, you get a bit of a, a tone, and a lot of people use this outside bit because you get less of a tone, I think, is the reason they use this area as kind of a snare. Kind of like that, so you can fill in the space here, get like 16th notes going. And you can just play a beat like that, and then add in notes whenever you want. And it's musical. It's great because you can just muck around with it, and, it, and you get like something musical. What you would have noticed just then when I was playing is that I'm not very good at striking it yet. I saw people that are pro probably professional handpan players or very good handpan players on the internet. They barely move their hand and their fingers but they can strike it in a way that the note is quite clear. So I'm still kind of learning and getting used to doing that. I'm not even sure which <laughs> finger to strike it with. So my, no my notes are not quite as clean as some other people that you'd see online. It can be hard to consistently get a clean note. But other than that, it's great. So it's just fun to slowly find your way around it, trying different ideas. I would recommend this a lot to people that have never played an instrument before, but want to do something musical. It's very user-friendly, let's say. It's easy to just start and just have something sound cool, which is uh, good for helping you continue playing an instrument. <laughs> it's hard when, I know, it's hard when you try something new 
and you just realize you have to practice for ages before you get anything good. But this is kind of like, you can just hit the ground running. Now, if you want to try the exact hand pan that I have, uh, I'll put a link in the description for Cosmos hand pans. That's the company that sent me this hand pan. And I also took the hand pan down to the beach and just filmed myself, you know, on the beach playing, kind of mimicking those all those relaxing videos on YouTube where they're in a forest or in nature, um, playing the ethereal hand pan music. So that'll be in another video. Um, so <laughs> look forward to that. I'll see you guys later.